Okay, so today I am working on my 04 Subaru Impreza. Uh, I just picked it up not too long ago. It needs a thermostat done. Uh, so I'm pretty much doing, well, a coolant flush and a thermostat change. So for anything though, you do need to disconnect the battery. I just went ahead and took it out of the way. It's just easier. Do the negative first, of course, and then do the positive currently just draining out. Um, I did have to take off the plastic cover. It makes it a little bit easier, uh, at least for draining it out. Um, and to find the drain plug, it's easy. Go on the left side of the, of the motor, passenger side, whatever you prefer. And it's just this little thing. I'm going to slip my hand down. It's pretty much this little black thing. All I do is just turn it loose. I'm not taking mine out all the way. Uh, and then when you're done, when it's done draining, you gotta clean all that out. Don't forget to take that off. Uh, and in the downtime while you're waiting for stuff to drain, come back here and terrorize the dogs. Come here, Bean, I'm gonna get you. Look, it's Coco. I'm gonna get you, Coco. Oh. Hi, hi, Coco. Bean, Bean, Bean. So, after you drain all the coolant, well, it's still kind of coming out. I ignore all the massive mess. We just moved over here not too long ago. Your thermostat on the 04, I think it's 04 through 07, uh, 2.5 RS Imprezas, it's on this bottom radiator hose, and these two bolts are 10 mil. So, you're going to undo those, um, and after you undo those, you're going to take it out, and I'll show you that one second. So let's see if I can do this, you know, one-handed. Oi! Uh, it doesn't have very much pressure behind it. And then let's get this other one. Oi! You know what? I'll just, I'll be right back with you guys. So, once you get these two little bolts out, set them aside so don't lose them. And then this should just pop right off. Cool. And be sure to note the marking is down here. It's pretty easy to do. And after you install the new one, you just reverse your steps. And then I will show you how to burp this system so you don't get any air in it. Still draining out more coin. <laughs> I guess I should turn it like this. That looks a little bit better. Subaru thermostats. It has this little dangly bit. That's the bit I was talking about that you have to have facing in a certain way. And I believe, like this thing, I can't even, I can't even pinch it down. Anyways though, I'm gonna set that to the side. Oh, so you see, here's the dangly bit on this. And all I do is just, it should just pop out. When I add coolant, I like taking one of these, right? And I like cutting the end off. Just so it has a bit of a better fit. Makes it easy pour and all of that. So, your stabilizer first. Oh, I poured a little bit too fast. Nice. And it has a really weird smell to that stuff too. And then I gotta add the big boy. I can't do that one handed, so yeah. In the system. <clears throat> you definitely want to get a rag put around. You want to have a little bit hanging up to the top of the funnel. And you're just going to squeeze the top pipe. You can do this before you start it. And you'll do it as well when you start it. And all you do is really squeeze that pipe. You're going to come down here to the bottom pipe. It's right here. That will help. You can hear that sound. It's hard to see down that, but you can look into there. Let me get the rag out of the way. I always do a rag when I'm adding the big fluids and you just... Yeah, this actually might just need a full fluid flush. I don't know. We'll see, I'm gonna start it up here in a second. I gotta lower it first. 
before anything else. So whenever you're burping the system, you want to make sure your heat is on, full blast, all the way. Have that on too. And you're gonna keep doing this until it hits operating temp. I like my CL went away too. Hell yeah. 